Hello boys and girls and welcome back to another product review from Q Listings. Part 1 is a quick little tip and part 2 is obviously the Qtex Energy Shaft review. As soon as this channel reaches a thousand subscribers, we'll give away a free Q. So guys, please don't forget to subscribe. Alright, so here's today's little tip. You get ball in hand in this position, what do you do? The one ball is open in all pockets. The key to this rack is the three ball, so how do you get there? My position play very much uh, depends on getting the natural angles. It just makes the game so much easier. So if you take a look here, if I give myself the right angle on two ball, there's a nice little tunnel in between the five and the seven ball going two to three rails coming down for the three ball. I'm also taking into consideration that I'm just a tiny fellow, just above 510. So I want to leave my cue ball on the right side of the side pocket. This way I don't have to reach for the cue ball, which could affect my balance. I also prefer playing short little follow shots instead of huge power draws. So now I left myself the perfect angle to go in between the 5-7 coming down to the 3 ball. And I could almost play this at any speed uh, and I would get some kind of position on the 3 ball. So what I want you to take away from today's tip is that it's way easier playing if you look for the natural angles and don't have to work the cue ball uh, on each and every single shot. Don't be afraid to leave a comment uh, if you feel that these kind of tips suck or if you want more of them in the future. Let's head over to the actual review of the Synergy Shaft from Qtech. The uh, Qtech Empire is built on affordable products and this shaft is no exception. $399, so that's really affordable. The Synergy Shaft has a 15.5 elongated pro taper. I really like it. The shaft has a rather large white ferrule and the standard tip is the Tiger Sniper Medium. A cool little feature on this shaft is that at the bottom you'll find the serial number and you can visit the QTEC website and register your shaft. I guess that can come in handy if the shaft gets stolen or lost. Alright, so enough with the chit chat. Let's see what this bad boy can do. In 1987, a gentleman named Jones Chang started to work on the technology for the Qtech Qs. Hey guys, if you like these videos, please click the icon to subscribe. So yeah, Mr. Chang, uh, he started on this technology in 1987. He actually came from the tennis industry. Uh, in 1989, he founded the company and in 2006, it was acquired by an American company named Imperial. Back in the days, Earl the Pearl Strickland was the big name using Qtech. Obviously, nowadays it's Shane Van Boning and Fatal Gorst. A little pop quiz for you since when has Shane Van Boning been playing with Qtech Qs? I'll give you the correct answer a little later in this video, but right now, let's sharpen our ears and listen to the sound that the shaft makes when it hits the cue ball. Sounds good to me, and the correct answer is 2009. He's been playing with the QTQ since 2009. I think he's also played a huge part in the research and development area. And obviously, who are we to disagree with Mr. Shane Van Boning? Qtech is not a brand that makes a lot of noise in the media scene, but their technology is really great, and I think that they are working on something exciting that we will see within a short period. And I would say that Qtech also has a very clear strategy of producing and selling affordable products that makes it way more accessible to everybody. As I mentioned earlier, the ferrule on this shaft is rather big. I totally understand that it's a there to help you with aiming but it's way bigger than most other shafts so it takes a little getting used to i'm not saying it's bad i'm just saying it takes a little getting used to having said that i really like the tiger sniper tip that they've got on it 
uh, it's a medium, but I think it would be on the softer side of the medium scale. As with other quality carbon fiber shafts, you can immediately feel that this is built from quality components. There is uh, no funny noises and uh, the feeling, the structure on the shaft, it's uh, very good. Obviously there will be finger marks, but uh, if you just take care of your shaft, wipe it off with uh, a dampened white towel, paper towel, and uh, once in a while use an alcohol pad, you'll be fine. In regards to low deflection and how low is the deflection on this shaft, I would say it's uh, pretty, pretty much the same as all the carbon fiber shafts. There is no point in me discussing uh, whether or not a carbon fiber shaft has lower deflection than another one because they're pretty much the same. The differences are minute, so you shouldn't be too hung up on it. It's mostly a sales gimmick. They are all low deflection, period. So in conclusion, if you're looking for a carbon fiber shaft and you've got $400 to spare, I can highly recommend this shaft. Thank you so much for watching and please consider subscribing and leaving a comment in the comments field.